Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconius Go. Today we're doing a weekly roundup of how good this week has been. Just I had to kind of show off. I've had I've got some great egg hatches to show you, some great finds in the wild, and we'll take a look at the bestiary, see how many I've got left to catch. Not that many, but they are all like the, the red rare types or a lot of stones to evolve. So let's get into it. Before we do that, let's just demolish this firefly though. 1129 was it? 2 1. Bayesian just laughs in the face of anybody. We hit. What are you doing, Firefly? So, I've realised that I uh, switched Bayesian's move, and I'm not sure I should have switched his uh, his fire attack. Boom! Two red run, Two red runes. Two red runes. Two red runes. Sweet. My rune count is massive. Because I don't have that many recipes, and longhands only requires me to cast it every seven days, I... I haven't used a lot and so when I do get some recipes it's gonna be I'm gonna be casting a lot of spells um, something I just wanted just to mention after last video is that in the, um, the site that we linked to I linked to uh, they've put the price of runes uh, they are not the same for everyone you can get different recipes that that cost different amount. So thank you everybody who made me aware of that. I was actually became aware of this when I um, created the thumbnails and realised there were two spells with different runes uh, required for them and I was going to put it into the uh, video but I'd already edited it and I figured I'd just say it in this video. Uh, but you guys mentioned it so it's pinned in the, um, in the comment section below that video. I obviously have cut a lot of runes from that but let's get into some of my hatches and catches. So first let's get into these four 10k eggs that I have hatching. This this was yesterday. I was hoping for some new additions to the vestry and boom the first one was awesome. Scylla, my first dragon uh, that I have actually had in the game. Four strength, four health, pretty strong. Comes with 24 stones as well so I can power him up. I actually have done that now and he's he's got good CP. Next one, again hoping for new additions in the vestry or things that require stones to evolve. And boom, I got a rosebud, a second one. This was the one that ran away from me in the wild that I was gutted about, but now four health and um, three strength, no, four strength, three health. Not massively strong on that front. Um, I'm going to be testing the IVs of eggs versus um, other uh, ones caught in the wild to see if they do hatch better IVs, you know, defensive and attack and HP stat. Demon start wasn't great. Um, but next up, I pulled. I don't think this was that good, or was it? No, it was rubbish. It was a phoenix. Four strength, five health though, so pretty powerful. Actually, I had five eggs. I forgot about this. Uh, this one is going, and I got a, a, a hydra. Four strength, four five health. Already had this guy caught him in the wild. So this is Scylla, um, and I was just checking the action on him. So when you tap him, he sniffs his tail which looks like he's got a strawberry on the end of his tail. So if I had a strawberry on the end of my tail, I don't have a tail, if I had a tail and I had a strawberry on the end of my tail, I'd probably sniff it because it smelled quite nice. I, I tried to time two ancient eggs that were 10Ks. Um, I knew it was a newly spawning portal and when I found them with the dragons, I was hoping it would last the whole 10 hours. It didn't, 35 minutes left. So I'm gonna have to find another one today. Hopefully go out and just get those last 35 minutes done. Um, but I have a few other 10Ks in the works, two more to collect. So hopefully I'll probably get one of those should be 10 Okay, because uh, I picked them up from my enchanted stop, um, and hopefully we get some more good hatches. I quite like the look of Smog, the other dragon, so hopefully I might get him. So now for some great catches. I just went to this. This quest is uh, this obelisk is the nearest one to my house. Went out to get it because um, I needed a new quest, and right next to it, I didn't even realize this was on the radar. It was a salute. So this is the final form. It's a three-stage evolution. Uh, I think it's Sparky is the first one. I haven't actually got the middle form, um, but I was, I, I was, I was, I was spinning it because I, I was trying to cover a curveball because I was like, I've, I've lost too many good creatures, and it has one three seven nine CP, so I needed to catch this. This this was going to be in my top six squad, and then I think I gave up on the curveballs. Yeah, just straight up, straight up throwing it down the line. Waiting for, right now I'm waiting for her to attack. I got a good throw. Did I catch it? I've seen a lot of good CP and 
higher, yes, yeah, last last stage evolution creatures run. Last week was just too bad losing Rosebud, uh, that hurt. And armor rank two, which, well, I don't need Rosebud now, but still need armor rank in the desk. Boom, got it. New acquisition to the bestiary. Salute, welcome to the squad, and just a great CP to catch in the wild. Next up was this find. Now, this I had 5% left on my phone, and it won't let me record. It won't let me record when it's at 5%. So I had to charge it up, and I, so obviously I wanted to get it and try and get it won first, and I got it. It was really low CP, 52, but a good addition to the, the bestiary. Hippofly, third stage evolution. I just found that whilst I was waiting in the bus stop, so I was really, really happy. I gotta tell you, like, that artifact that takes a lot of the common spawns off the radar makes a huge difference. Like, compared to the last, before I had it, and now, I found so many more rare creatures. And the next one, this, this rare find in the wild, just kind of demonstrates this in the best way possible. So, I was looking for a portal to um, find the Mother of Dragons, trying to find that hatch, and look at that on the radar. Did not expect this at all, as I, I was literally just going to go get the Mother Dragons and go, and then boom, that's Morgoth. That guy evolves from Inyur. So I'm looking around, I see a Maglad, which I need, I see the Mother of Dragons, which I need, and I see that stop over in the distance. That's my priority. This guy costs 150 stones to evolve from Inyur into Morgoth. So I finally got there, was it going to be in time? So when it goes off the radar and it's not around you, that's kind of scary. But when it goes off the radar, there's a little bit of time before. When it goes off the, that radar, it means it should be in, within vicinity. And there he was, 567 CP, which is it's, it's, it's fairly good. It's not amazing, but 150 stones saved. Gotta catch this guy. Uh, I think, am I going for curveballs? I think I just give up because I have not found a way to get a good curveball. Yeah, just going for that nice, Nice, waiting for the attack, and going for the throw. Hitting excellent, which is exactly what I need against this guy. Two spin. First time catch, boom! Great addition to the best degree. That's definitely the best catch I've found. Two strength, three health, so not massive in the strength and health department, but Wrath of Arcana, which is the best move set on that. Uh, by the way, I will be putting out a video in the next couple of days on the best move sets for each type, water, um, earth, etc. So make sure to look out for that in the future. So this week has been really good, and that takes my best three up to 110, with some good catches and hatches, and evolving some which I now have stones for. I've now completed, I believe I've completed all of the green decks, so I haven't got any more greens to get. Yep, that's true. And then in the blue department, we have um, only a few. So I got, what did I get this week? I got Parabeast last week, I think. Oh, I found a Medic Med Aquian. No, it's an Under Aquian. I always think the Media Aquian is Under Aquian. I found in the wild yesterday, just walking my dog. There's a lot of good spawns. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm just getting really lucky, playing too much or whether or not it's just that artifact that I've got. Um, but I have got a lot this this week. I, I do think it will be different next week, being that there's a lot of red types. Gamion still need the evolution into Harpy. Got Ghostus, I forgot that to put that into the video. I actually found, right, on my radar was two Ghostus at the same time. Dragon's Eyesight popped. They were right next to each other. They were in a place where I couldn't get to because it was a school. And at 12 o'clock, it was locked and I was not willing to go for it. Uh, I, uh, by, the way, by the way, personally, I will go pretty much anywhere if I think I can get away with going into that area for catching either creatures or completing quests. In this quest, I had the 15 pillars in a row, which was much better than 30 pillars in a row. As you can see, there's already pretty low chance of me thinking I can get this. But you know what? Screw it. I know there's like loads of shrubbery and I don't know if I can get into the bit over this hill, but I'm still gonna go for it because that's that's number 14, right? And then number 15 will be over there, which I know I can get to. So if I can get this, I'm sorted. So I get up to the fence, go over all this like thistles and just shrubbery, which was difficult to go through. And as you can see there, there was a gate. Now. I knew that I was going to be pushing it. I knew I was be getting, be, I would be pretty close to getting that stop. So this is just how close I was. So I've got the plus thirty percent, and 
that white bit just needs to hit just needs to hit the pillar and it didn't I was like putting my arm <laughs> as close up to the, the gate it didn't I had to restart that luckily the, the, the second time I did that I managed to get a nice clear run where, where it was accessible <laughs> everywhere like one thing I personally love is just the places that it can take you to so this is me trying to complete my golden egg hunt and uh, <laughs> I was trying to just get an obelisk there was an obelisk that was on the other side you know it looks like a nice path but it's clearly a path that nobody has walked for ages and ages and just, I mean, who put that block there? Who put that block there? Uh, God knows. But I did get the obelisk and I did get my golden egg, which is going to be seen in a video I'm going to be putting out on my golden egg quest and how I've been getting around shovels costing so much and how best to save them. So look out for that in the future as well. So back to the best story. I don't have many blues left. I only have this one, which I believe to be um, Undine. Um, I have the evolution from Sparky to get 95. I've got Needle Shot with the evolution into Filbustus and then Picaroon. So they're the only blue ones that I've got left, and then it's nothing but red. Um, so Undine's evolution, then I've got uh, Yogi from Deo Evolution, which I think I can actually evolve now. I'm just waiting to see if I can catch him in the wild to save stones. Uh, needle Shot, hopefully it means blue, but I've only ever seen one and I couldn't reach it. Pillow Cat, I think I can evolve Cheshire now, but I know actually I don't, because I think I use all my stones to power Bayesian up. Soft Tail with the evolution into Sharp Tail. I haven't actually managed to see that in the wild yet. Then I've got a number 11 and 12, who I can't remember, so it'll be in the 125 creatures that are listed. I've got to get um, Twist into Curly, I believe it is. I just don't, I'm just short of stones there. Tiger Mant into Manticore, still saving up stones, and Armor Rank, and 125. 125 is Leviathan, actually, and one of the other red ones is small. So some pretty difficult ones that are actually going to be really hard to find. Charybdis, that's <laughs> the other one is Charybdis. Charybdis and Smog. So they're hopefully going to be coming from egg hatches. Hopefully going to be hatching those two 10Ks. I'll be putting that up in my next weekly update of where I'll be doing all the rest of my egg hatches and good hatches, where I'll probably be putting all my best hatches for that weekend as well. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, please hit that like button and hit subscribe to keep up to date with future information and those future updates that are going to be put out in the next couple of days. That's all from me. I'll see you soon.